in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday was the great feast in the church of Corpus Christi, which is Latin for the body of Christ. And we celebrate the Eucharist, that gift that Jesus gave at the Last Supper, where he gave what was bread and what was wine, but gave it as his body and his blood. It's what we have at every single Mass. It's a miracle that happens at every Mass. Though it still looks like bread and still looks like wine, what we receive is truly the body and blood of Jesus. And that gift, it's not just Jesus giving it for the sake of giving it. As we hear in our Bible reading today, it's the gift of his life, that eternal life, in which we can have a share. So I just want you to pause for a moment and reflect for yourself in your own lives. What is it that gives you life? Are there particular relationships, friendships that help you feel alive, that bring you great joy? Or maybe there's something that you have a real passion for that you feel brings you life. What is it that brings you life? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the total gift you make of yourself in the Eucharist. We pray today that when we draw close to you, we may become more like you and share in the life you have prepared for us. Amen. St. Oscar Romero, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.